I'd like to show you one of my favorite features in the BES4 lettering program. It's called Alpha Mapping. When I click on that icon, the Alpha Mapping screen opens up. I'm going to click on New Font and give it a name. And the name I gave it just happens to be the name of that letter set. I'm going to first set the letter M because it wants you to set the widest letter. So there's the M. Yes, that's correct. Now, the next feature is the automatic mapping. If the designs are numbered, lettered, named properly, like uppercase letter A, not A stesha, B stesha, C stesha, and it has to be the uppercase letters for it to fit into the proper window. I can highlight the letters and say automatic or auto, or I can just go down and drag them into place if they weren't labeled properly. It really doesn't take all that much time to click and drag them into place. And if you're in a really big hurry, you could just do the letters you need for a project and come back later. That's totally up to you. Let me go down and choose these letters. And I'll just say auto map. And there we go. Just a couple more and I'll be finished. Let me go up to the S. And there we go, and auto. Since I don't have any lowercase letters, I am done. So I will need to click on save. And once it's saved, I'll be ready to use those letters from the keyboard. Let's go to normal text, click on the design page, and I want to use Stesha, which was the one I just created. And let's see, there it is. And type in my text. Click apply. And there it is. Yes, I know the stitches are a little too long. I'll need to change that from a satin stitch to a fill stitch. It's just as simple as that.